I'm Lisa Fox, and I'm the Lisa Fox Wright, and I'm the Barefoot Pampered Chef. And today, I went to my very first Weight Watchers meeting. So what we talked about in the meeting was that a lot of us feel that we don't have time to A, look up new recipes, B, cook healthy, wholesome food instead of going out or grabbing takeout or grabbing something from the freezer, and we don't have time to exercise. So today, I'm gonna to try to put three of those things all together into one demo for you. So the very first thing that we're gonna do is we're actually going to do a pasta, but the way that I do this pasta, you can do a whole bunch of different variations on it. So I'm just gonna do one variation and I'm gonna show you a bunch of different variations. And with those variations, you have different recipes. You can have different styles of food. And I'll try to tell you the points for each thing as we go through it. So there are your new recipes. This in itself is a really, really, really simple and quick dish. And so you can make it very, very quickly for uh, any type of a meal and, and when you're in a rush. The third thing we're gonna do is I picked up one of these nifty fit boards. And so you guys are gonna get a kick out of this. During some of this, I'm going to try to work out my waist. Whoa! All right, this thing takes a little bit more effort than I thought it would, but we'll see if I can use it a little bit while we're doing some of this recipe. So the very first thing, and I think I'm a little too far away, so I'm gonna step off of that for a minute, but you can do that while you're cooking, is I have two takeout containers, and I have a whole bunch of really great looking pasta, right? No, these are zucchini noodles. So I made a whole bunch of zucchini noodles, and I used my veggie spiralizer from Pampered Chef. So this looks like pasta, it's great. But on Weight Watchers, zucchini is zero points. So a cup of this, zero points. A cup of spaghetti pasta, five points. So there you go, you've already cut down in your points by using your zucchini noodles instead of your pasta noodles. So what I'm going to make is a pesto. Now my whole entire recipe, if you eat the whole entire thing, is 11 points for the pesto itself. So you can obviously break this into allotments and 11 points, I mean, broke up over a couple of meals, that goes a really long way. So what we're gonna do is we are going to take, uh, let's do the pine nuts first. So I've got two tablespoons of pine nuts and I've added just a few uh, edamame that have been roasted and salted just to give it a little bit more flavor. So I'm gonna put these into my manual processor. them out of there and put that in there and I'm just going to give it a few turns you could probably do this while you're standing on that board thingy basil. Now basil is great because it's an herb so it adds a lot of flavor but it's also kind of a veggie in this dish so it has zero points. The two tablespoons of your pine nuts are I believe three points but if you can't find pine nuts you can substitute them with a different style of nut. I have done almond pestos, I've done walnut, walnut pestos, they all taste great. So we're going to put those in there Two cups of basil, zero points. I'm still standing on this board. Woo! All right, so I've got those zhuzhed up a little bit. Don't worry if they're not too zhuzhed up because we're gonna add some things that will help it. We're gonna add about a quarter of a cup of Parmesan cheese. Now this is four points, 
So this is pretty much where your points are coming from. I'm going to save a little bit in my bowl as a topping. And I also saved one Parmesan leaf out here, or one uh, basil leaf out here as a topping. We're going to put into this some roasted garlic. Now, I don't have a lot of time. I don't know if you do. So I took a clove of garlic, cut off the top of it, and just so you can see the cloves, popped it in one of my one cup prep bowls and threw it in the microwave for a minute and a half. So what we're going to do with that is we are going to just kind of slide out some of these cloves. And there's a cat. That was La Brea. So these cloves usually pop out pretty easily. So I'm just going to put them into our mixer here. You want about two or three cloves. You can use this actually in the dish if you want just for a little bit of burnish as well. I love garlic. And you know, this time of the year you need to keep the vampires away, so I'm gonna put a couple of cloves in there. And then just to lighten this up a little bit, we're gonna do a little squeeze of lemon juice. Get those. This is why you use your citrus juicer, so you don't get seeds in there. Okay. And we're going to add one tablespoon of olive oil. So that's about one tablespoon right there. And throw this on. Now, if you don't like basil, or if you don't like pesto, you can always add a little bit of marinara sauce to your zucchini noodles. And it looks like a quarter of a cup of store-bought marinara sauce is only one point. So if you add that to your zucchini noodles, which are zero, you will have a one point, very satisfying meal that you can make while exercising. Maybe. So let's see how this looks. It's getting there. My basil's a little big. I probably should have chopped it up before I put it in there. This in itself is a workout. I'm just going to grab some of this basil and rip it up a little bit because it doesn't want to cut in there. No accidents in the kitchen. Just something that you have to deal with and move on. Okay. Let's see how that works. some uh, low sodium chicken broth to get this to be a little bit more saucy. I'm actually going to add a little bit more olive oil knowing that that's going to raise my points on this a little bit. So one tablespoon of olive oil is four points. So I probably added about five points worth of olive oil. But I've got this great looking pesto sauce that I'm just going to coat my zucchini needles with, noodles with. And I'm going to eat that. And about two tablespoons of this is approximately three points. So you can have three points of this and zero points of zucchini noodles. I also added in a little bit of black pepper, ground black, fresh ground black pepper, and a little bit of red uh, pepper flakes to give it a little bit of a kick. The other things that you can add to this or even add to a little bit of pasta if you want to go for the five points of pasta, you can add some sauteed mushrooms, some sauteed vegetables. I'm going to continue working out while I'm doing this. You can add some chopped roasted bell peppers, which would taste really good. Maybe a little bit of goat cheese. Uh, I'm going to add a little bit of the Parmesan that's left and a little bit of my basil onto that as well. And I'm probably going to sprinkle some lemon juice over my veggie noodles uh, before I get done. So for these, we use the cooking mat that I always have underneath for easy cleanup. A lovely cooking mat. I use the manual food processor. 
I used my one cup prep bowls, especially to do the roasted garlic. I used my coated chef's knife to cut some things. And I also have my three cup silicone prep bowl for my basil. So hopefully, oh, and the veggie spiralizer, because we can't live without zoodles, zucchini noodles. So hopefully this inspires you to get working out while you're cooking. Please don't do anything hot that you might hurt yourself with. <laughs> and hopefully it'll get you cooking a healthy meal. You can find all of this and more on www.pamperedchef.biz backslash Lisa Wright. And you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at hashtag BarefootPC. Thanks and have a great Weight Watchers journey or just enjoy really good food.